The Monster of the Woods by Claire Friedman and Russell Julian. Deep in the woods, Owl, Mouse, and Rabbit were having a very important meeting. This is a very important meeting, said Owl. We need to do something about the monster of the woods. I'm scared, cried Rabbit. No one's safe when it's around, squeaked Mouse. I've heard he's very big and horribly hairy, Mouse gulped. And very, very scary, Rabbit trembled. Don't panic, said Owl, land handing around notes he had written out neatly for everyone. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about, but just in case, I have a plan. What to do if the monster of the woods comes calling on a dark stormy night? Number one, lock the door. Number two, pull the curtains shut. Number three, pretend you're not at home. Remember, said Owl, the monster of the woods probably won't come calling at all. He will if it's dark and stormy enough, Rabbit shivered. And if he's hungry enough, added Mouse. Don't worry, said Owl. As long as we follow my plan, we'll be safe. That night, it was dark and it was stormy. Owl woke up with a start. Crash, bang, crash. It's only thunder, he thought. Howl, howl, howl. It's only the wind, he told himself. Tappity tap. What was that? Quick as he could, Owl locked the door, pulled the curtain shut, and pretended he was not at home. Let me in, Owl, called Rabbit. I thought I heard the monster of the woods and I'm getting drenched. Come in, Rabbit, said Owl. It's only a nasty, noisy storm. Rabbit scurried inside. Tappity tap, what was that? Quick, cried Owl, the plan. So they locked the door, pulled the curtain shut and pretended they were not at home. Let me in, called Mouse. I thought I heard the monster of the woods and I'm freezing. Come in, Mouse, said Owl. It's only a nasty, noisy storm. Mouse curled up by the fire. Owl made some nice hot cocoa. See, he said, we're all safe now. Tappity tap tap. What was that? Rabbit dropped his mug in fright. Is that Mouse knocking on the front door? He whispered. I'm already here, silly, Mouse squeaked. Is it Owl then? Rabbit gulped. I'm here too, Owl cried. The friends looked at each other. Oh no, they all whispered. It must be. The monster of the woods. Stay calm, shouted Owl. Remember my plan. So they locked the door, pulled the curtain shut, and pretended they were not at home. Thump, thump, thump. The banging got louder and louder. Sniffle, sniffle, squeak. That noise doesn't sound like a monster, Rabbit frowned, forgetting to pretend they were not at home. It sounds like crying, said Mouse, nervously opening the curtains. Whoever it is sounds frightened, agreed Owl. Maybe they need help. He peeked through the peephole. Slowly, Owl unlocked the door. A tiny bedraggled furry thing stood on the doorstep. Who are you? Everyone gasped. 
I'm the monster of the woods. You? said Mouse. You're not very big. I'm bigger than you, it said. You're not horribly hairy either, added Rabbit. I flatten in the rain, it replied. And you're not at all scary, said Owl. Ah, it's true, the monster sighed. I don't know why everyone is so frightened of me. Crash, bang, crash. The monster leapt into Owl's arms. I hate thunder, he was whimpered. Oh, there, there, Owl patted him kindly. We're all safe now. It was the next very important meeting. Owl handed around notes he had written out neatly for everyone. Before we begin, Owl beamed, let's welcome the monster of the woods. The monster giggled, but my friends call me Snuggles. And everyone agreed Snuggles was the perfect name. T-H-E-E-N-D, the...